Hi everyone, well I'm Precious and you're welcome back to my channel Beyond the Blows where we'll talk about everything affecting our present reality. Okay, the topic of conversation today is going to be facts or myths of menstrual sex. Before I dive into the topic, I would like to say a big thank you to every person that has been supported with likes shares subscribe please do not stop and i would like to encourage more people to subscribe to like to share and to comment i really really appreciate it drop your subscribes please thank you okay so what is menstruation well menstruation is that time in the month where a woman sees her flow and this is a process whereby an unfertilized egg cell busts and what happens it goes down the the cervix and out of the vagina basically out of the body as blood because why well it does that because there was no spermatozoa to, you know, nobody to put sperm and help fertilize it. So anyways, um, menstrual sex is the situation where uh, two consensual individuals have sexual intercourse during this circle. Okay. It is no uncommon knowledge that there are some people who are of the opinion that having sex during a, a woman's um, having sex during a woman's flow or menstrual cycle is just dirty. It's nasty. It's bad. You're not supposed to do that. Okay, that's quite understandable. Like you can't really be grudge them for their opinions or any of that. However, I am here to tell you the truths and the myths. Firstly, menstrual sex is not um, evil. If a person has sex, okay, I'm talking about two consensual individuals now, have sex, while the woman is seeing her monthly flow, what happens? There is no negative side effects. Like there is no side effects. Like oh, okay, after he he has sex with her, he will come and die on his way home, or he's going to to start seeing failure in his business or any of the whole hula bula. Okay, now I'm not saying that there might be some that somebody must have done. So. No, no, no. I'm not. I'm not even going to go into that part right now. Now I'm talking basically health and science. All right, there is no evil connotation to having menstrual sex. Nothing is gonna going to happen to any of the individuals that nothing evil or diabolical is going to happen to any of the individuals that had that intercourse two okay what happens well this is something that is quite interesting that a lot of people actually say in reverse well menstrual sex has the ability to relieve cramps Yes, it doesn't worsen the cramps. It doesn't make it too difficult for the chick to bear in, if her boyfriend wants. No, actually, menstrual sex relieves the pain of cramps. Yes, it's facts. Straight out facts. It relieves the pain of, of, of cramps. And how does that happen? I'm going to tell you. Sit still. Okay. During sex, 
Endorphins are released. What are endorphins? Endorphins are pleasure neurons that basically makes a person feel good when they are released. Okay? So, during that penetration, during that sex, okay, endorphins are released into the brain of the lady or both partners, the lady in question now, which is going to make her feel good and by so doing what happens it distracts her from the pain of the cramps also during penetration the vaginal wall expands and when a woman orgasms or climaxes the uterus contracts and releases during that release okay what happens there will be relief so you see it's a plus plus it's not like i'm encouraging you to go and do it though that's definitely up to you two um three yes it is said that menstrual sex can give you shorter periods yes how does this happen during orgasm all right the uterus contracts okay and releases this activity all right helps to expel the contents of the uterus faster and by so doing causes a shorter period four it's a natural lubrication yes i'm sure those people that have like really large dicks and like dry coarse vaginas will be so happy to hear this or like using ky gel or vaseline or a moisturizing lotion to grease that area if you are cool with having sex during your menstrual circle the blood acts as a natural lubricant so there's no need to pour speed pour, 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 and all of that um drama all you just do is insert and everything is open and porous and you are hitting it straight to go to go to go all right number five menstrual sex is said to help give relief to those women who have headaches and migraines yes each person's body is different there are some people who just have cramps and that's it there are some people who throw up there are some people who have massive migraines and headaches in such situation where a woman has crazy headaches or migraines what happens the sex all right helps to relieve these headaches and migraines now I'm not going to leave you without telling you, well, the risks that may come from having this type of sexual intercourse. The first thing is, oh, this is not really a mix, risk, it's just an observation. It's going to be messy. So if you know you have white sheets, well, please do not use your white sheets. If you know you really want to do that, then... You should get uh, maybe a dark cloth or a cloth that you know you can dispose of quickly or wash easily and it's not going to stain your sheets or something. But it is mess messy, really. It's going to be messy. So just, just have that, know that, understand that. Two, there is also a high risk of getting STIs. Of course, you know, Things like HIV, hepatitis can be found in the blood, okay? So during that time of penetration, that blood that is coming out directly from the woman's vagina is going to easily get into the guy's penis. And of course, a guy who is infected already and ejaculates is going to easily get to the woman because at that moment her body is open and porous it's basically it's a it's a high very high risk very high risk points for any of the individuals 
to get an STI. So the best advice is to first do this with a trusted partner or to be more secure, use a condom. Yeah, use a condom. Three, the third risk, okay, that could actually come up is, well, because you're on your period doesn't mean you cannot get pregnant because research has shown that spermatozoa can spend up to seven days in the woman's body. You know, it's going to be active for seven days and it's going to be ready to. So if you're someone who has the 22 day circle, all right, and understand that circles change every month. So if your period finishes really fast and then your dude has already gone to put something there, just know you stand the risk of getting pregnant. So these are just the facts and the myths. It's up to you. Do you want to have sexual intercourse during your circle? Well, it's up to you. Go ahead. If not, well, don't. But understand that there really, scientifically, is nothing wrong with doing that, of course, except the um, on the listed risks. Okay, this is Beyond the Blowers. I am Precious. Bye for now.